on the like the budget thing, like trying to apply leadership to the things we're managing, like it just kept coming up all the time. Like, can I, I want to try this? Do we have money for that? And so often it's like, well, not really. Like, or gosh, we're going to have to either ask the PTA or try for a grant. And that just didn't seem to be an right. effective way to like live out your priorities. So one year we tried, we like created a small line item and just shifted funds around. So obviously we reprioritized the budget, but but it gave us a small, a modest line item for innovation. And the mindset change that that allowed us to do. So then as teachers are coming up to me, um, the answer was, it was a completely different conversation. Like, oh, we could tap into this or, oh, with either like part of the building allocation or your grade level or department allocation, Pairing that, you know, if it's a priority for us and for you, pairing that with our in innovation budget, we might be able to do X, Y, or Z. And it just opened up so many different things. And it actually grew. Um, here's a, the next iteration. Since, since that book, what we did to that, George, is I was noticing that a lot of people tapped into that, but not everyone, because some people are just high flying, cruising, or don't have the time, or don't maybe right. don't feel comfortable asking, like whatever the barrier. So then we started this, like, it's called a grant, but it tapped into that budget, like one sentence grant. Give me a mm -hmm. sentence with what you want to do for kids. And, you know, obviously it'll connect to like what, what our vision and, and, and who we are, but we will like mobilize it and we will try to fund it and work with you. So that was a way to like break down the walls to the budget because a lot of school budgets are kind of mysterious. I think to teachers they are not mm -hmm. super right. transparent and they're just, they're just something that's there. Um, but that was that the response to that, like the first year we had several requests the year after the year after it was just like people asking for really incredible, impactful stuff. And if I'm being like super reflective on it, a lot of what they asked for might have been stuff that I might have tried to hope to talk people into or say, right. hey, we should pay attention to it. But they they know like right. they just sometimes just need the, the support and the access. So, so that's the story story behind the story. So for people listening, what give me, an, and I'm putting you on the spot here, give me an example of like what a one sentence proposal was. Like what would that look like? Oh, sure. I mean, it could range from- uh, You gotta books. say, you gotta say a sentence. What is it? Oh, yeah. Um, someone, someone, I like, want this is why to, I'm asking this. Somebody want, listening to this and they're like, I want to do that in my school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need there's that. No, I need the there's no, example. yeah, yeah. There's no, and by the way, this is just how I am. Anyone listening, feel free to contact me and I'll even share the email that I send our staff and it'll lay it out for you, you know, oh, if you want to, if you want to look at it, but it's as basic as I want to provide book access to my kids because here's what I'm noticing, it, right. you know, solving a problem that they've noticed. It's like, all right, let's have that conversation. And it's so, so in using that example, like this wasn't just drones or robotics or coding software, although so, some of that stuff was a part of it, but it was right. also, you know, literacy and flexible furniture and, you know, the list goes, yeah, what, the list goes on and on and on. And, and you and I have a very similar idea behind the notion of innovation. It's not about technology. It's about doing new and better teaching, right? Like it's, it's, and it, but it's really important. It has to be better. It just can't be cool stuff. Right. And I think that that's, that's important to me.